Big video, we're Portuguese and we're the right people to talk about this. Here with my great friend Pedro, how are you doing? Hey Alex, excited and nervous about today. <laughs> well, we're filming before the big game and that's it's important to say that. And this video, the title is, who will win the Portuguese league? If Sporting doesn't win today, do they still win it? I, I think so. I, I think it will be intense until the end. The only way that the the Primeira Liga is close today is, is, is if Sporting wins the match. So I just wanted to say that the star people, this is going to be an interesting topic. So like this video, big questions will be answered. And we're going to be talking about the big three, obviously. And I have here a list of players that you should be aware outside the big three in the Portuguese league. Wanted to hint that so people and a bit of those rumors of Arsenal Diamande, uh, Jota, oh, Jota Silva. I should have him here. Oh, you don't? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's so obvious that you just forgot. I had Tomás Andel. Tomás Andel. Oh. But yeah, but yes, Vitória completely, Jota Silva. But so the first, I wanted to play a game with you. I see this a lot of only when you speak, you can only speak when you hear a better manager than Ruben Emery. Okay. And since Sporting, I think, is the a good starting topic with this, I think we should start like this. That Let's go, Alex. Pedro, you can only speak if you hear a manager better than Ruben Emery. So, the first one is going to be... Roger Schmidt. Sergio Conceição. Tiago Mota. Pochettino. Eric Ten Hag. Roberto De Zervi. Alegri. Julian Nagelsmann, Simeone, Thomas Tuchel, uh, Arteta, Ancelotti. Okay, I have to give it to Ancelotti. And Pep Guardiola. Yeah, I'm, I have to give to. it to Ancelotti. Even though I think Ruben Emery will be better than Ancelotti, I cannot speak against a manager who has won three or four Champions Leagues. Mate, this shows it's, the respect that you have for Ruben Emery. Uh, Ruben Emery, for you, is the best Portuguese manager in the world right now. And you believe no doubt, Alex. he's the best manager for a Premier League team right now, too. I agree that he's the best available manager a Premier League team can get for Ruben Emery, yeah. And I do think Ruben Amri is the best coach Sporting Club Portugal has ever had. Oh, four years ago, 19 years without a title. Right now, fighting to win the second Portuguese league title. He's won two tasks of the Liga with Sporting. And Alex, it's, it's not, yeah, and it's not only the titles, it's the way you play and the way you get those titles, oh, you know? Oh, shit. Because clearly, I think it's unanimous oh, when people say that Sporting is the best team this year in terms of gameplay in, in Portugal. There's no doubt about it. Most consistent. And uh, uh, for me, more important than winning the titles, of course, titles are always the most important thing, but second to them, it's how you win it, how you win it, how you play it. Is it luck? Is it skill? Mm -hmm. Is it a uh, 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 masterclass from the coach? And that's what I'm getting to the point. Ruben Emery is one of the best coaches in the world already at 39 years old. Amazing what he's been doing. Amazing. Arsenal fans... Man City fans, you have been uh, warned for what's going to come because one of the other teams will be probably getting Ruben Emery. But so with this, the best midfield in the Portuguese league for you is Martin Hulman and Marita too. I would say so, Alex. Um, first of all, Morita really surprised me. It was a very cheap acquisition, 3 million euros from Santa Clara. And uh, he's a great all-arounder. Mm -hmm. He plays with his heart. He's a typical Japanese player. You can see he, he gives it all. He lives it all on the pitch. High work, and work rate. He's, he has a, a high defensive and attacking work rate very both. He's very duels, balanced. Yes. He's very balanced. Very, very... He doesn't have any weakness if you, if, if you try to find some weaknesses in his game. He doesn't have. He's a very good all-rounder. Then, Morten Hulman. Man, I'm sorry, but I'll just, I'll just have praises about Morten Hulman. For me, Morten Hulman is... I know Joker has been getting all the attention and he's a baller, but Morten Hillman, in my opinion, is the most important player in, in sporting this season. And Pot. Pot's for, very important. Gosali Nassu too. But, but Pot has been here for, for three to four years. Morten Hillman was a new acquisition and for me it was like, it, he was God sent. It's amazing what Martin Hillman can do. The tempo, the decisions, the decision making. He knows Word. when to do the right passes at the right moment. Fantastic. It's player. just scores goals, scored against Benfica on Tuesday. He scores goals. He's everywhere. It's, I agree with you. Amazing. He's great. He's amazing. But if we did a start bench shell fast here between us, between Ron Evs, Alan Varela, and Martin Hillman, 
Who would you start? Start Morten Newman's. I would bench Ron Evans and I would sell Alan Varela. I would start Ron Evans. I would bench Morten Newman and sell Alan Varela. But Alan Varela is a baller, okay? Alan Varela is a great defensive midfielder. Alex, I have a game for you. Ah! Uh, just on so, just out of the top of my head. Good, good. So. <clears throat> I know you're used to do this type of games as well. You did it with Florian Wirtz and Jude Bellingham. I did it. Let's do it with uh, João Neves and Martin Hulman. Okay. Okay. Shooting. Martin Hulman. Passing. Uh, João Neves. Tackling. João Neves. Mm, ball control. João Neves. Ball conduction. João Neves. Um, who's a better player? João Neves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, look, for me, <clears throat> Martin Hulman is better close closer to the final third, okay? But João Neves, in terms of intensity in duels, he was, no doubt in my mind, the best player in the two legs against Rangers. He's 19 years old. And another thing, too, with João Neves. João will not leave the Portuguese national team anymore. And for me, that's special when you have Bernard Silva, Bruno Fernandes, Otávio... People are saying Ruben Neves might leave because of João Neves. Alex, he's a special player, and I have no doubt he will be world class. I'm just saying why I'm defending. <laughs> the kid is 19 years old. Martin Newman is 24. That's True. one of the reasons why I chose Martin Newman. I have no doubts that João Neves will be even better than Martin Newman. What Martin Newman is right Captain now. Captain Atlético. I'm not. Yeah, and Martin Newman was a bargain. I, I, even though he was 18 17. million euros. That's, yeah. yeah. 18 million euros, which is quite a lot for a Portuguese side. But we're talking about a player. Martin Newman had the most successful tackles in the Serie A. True. Which is ama amazing in a, in a league that is so intense, such as the Serie A. So, but he, no, well, he's fantastic. But when, he, when Martin Newman mm -hmm. came, I already know, knew he was going to be good defensively. But I had no idea he was going to be this good with the ball. And he's very complete with Morita. And Daniel Braganza has also been a very good option yeah. provided from the bench. And I wanted to ask you too. I, we did it with Ruben Emery. So same game. You can only speak, Pedro, when you hear a better striker than Victor Gioqueres. Oh. Gabriel Jesus. Richarlison. Evan Nilsson. Pedro do Flamengo. Darwin Nunes, Lautaro Martinez, Marcus Turam, Colomani, Morata, <laughs> Benzema. Prime Benzema? No, Benzema, no. <laughs> Mitrovic, no, for Alilal. No, I'm joking. Erling Haaland. Ooh, this is so bold. Harry Kane. Yeah. Ah, Harry Kane but, is the only player. Yeah, and I, I'll just explain my Joker choice, is. Alex. The thing is, uh, Joker is, is more of a complete player than Erling Haaland. As, and as uh, Joaquin just said... I just want to put into context. You're saying a player in the Portuguese league, Victor Joker, is only behind Harry Kane and the best striker in the world. Alex, that's debatable. People didn't bat an eye on Bruno Fernandes when he's playing at Sporting. Next season, he goes to United. He's one of the best scorers at the club. So, And one of the best players in the Premier League, winning uh, players of the month like like peanuts. Ruben so, Dias was an immediate impact, leaving Ma uh, yeah, Benfica so that's, to Man that's City. Arguable. I, I doubt that, that Vitor Jokeres will be here next season. So we'll why do people hate on the Portuguese league? Like if he's performing well here, you'll just prove it in the Premier League next year. Doesn't mean that he will just improve from one year to the other. More I than believe, 50 goal I believe that he's one of the best strikers in the world right now. And if you see his gameplay, he's better than than, than Erling Haaland because he comes back, he grabs the ball, well, he well. runs in transitions, um, he he provides assists. And Alex, let me j just clear one stat mm -hmm. for you: there has been no player. In, in sporting, and I don't know if in the Portuguese league mm -hmm. that has had 50 goal contributions in one season, Jardim. and the season is not even over, goal contributions since Brun Fernandes. Mm, okay, true. And then since Jardel. So, Brun Fernandes, Jardel, and Vitor Jokeres, the three of them are world ca class. And for people who don't Jardel, remember Jardel, both. Mario Jardel won two golden boots, European golden boots. So he was class. If he was playing nowadays, everybody would know his name. The streets won't forget Mario Jardel. It's true. <laughs> Alex, Mario Jardel, I like it. Ma I like Mario it. Jardel scored 40, I think it's 46 goals in 34 a, matches no, in the league. for Porto and for Sporting. Yeah, it, was, it was just crazy. Fantastic. And I love it. I man, love it. You can never say that Victor Jokeres isn't one of the best strikers in the world when he has more than 50 goal contributions in 34 or 33 matches. And with the, still seven more matches to go, it's just crazy. The man. best player in the Portuguese league. By far, Second by for far. me is Ronevs. 
the best player, Gyokerish. He's been so impactful. Completely agree with what you're saying. So, we talk a lot about Gyokerish. You say it's for sure he's going to leave uh, Sporting. So, I'm going to say this. In my Ruben Emery is the best manager I've ever seen in my life. The Sporting team I've seen this season, Huilman, Gyokerish, Pot, Gonzalo Inacio, Diomande, I think it's going to be remembered as one of the best Sporting teams. In, in the last few years, for sure. Yeah, Alex, and uh, Pedro Gonçalves is so underrated. I, I really, I really like, I really rate him because he's, he's been amazing for Sporting since he arrived. And it's, it's mm -hmm. quite amazing that he, he didn't uh, leave yet. Uh, he's just class. He's just class. Um, I don't think he's probably the most impactful player in Sporting in the last four years, undoubtedly. And I hope he stays for many more years because if he leaves, Sporting wouldn't be the same. For sure. In the last four years, I think Pedro Gonçalves might be even the most iconic player in Ruben Emery's I agree. era I agree. in Sporting. I agree. If I, if I had to choose a player that defines the Ruben Emery era, I would go for Pedro Gonçalves. Could win and, two titles, uh, two league titles yeah, with Ruben he's, Emery. he's already an absolute legend because he won our first championship in nine years, in 19 years, sorry. Um, Top goal scorer first season. But what, what defines uh, the Ruben Amorim era and Pedro Gonçalves for me, it's the role he, he started to play. And because nobody was expecting, he was playing at number eight in Famalicão, Pedro Gonçalves. He came to Sporting and he plays in between a, a forward and a midfield, you know. Between uh, the lines. Exactly. Yes, he plays in between the lines. Nobody was expecting that. And every time he provides a goal, uh, uh, he scores a goal or provides an assist. Even that's why, well, that's what makes him special. From, in my opinion, is that even when he's not performing, in a click, he can just provide an assist out of nowhere or score a goal. And it, that's what great players do. And Pedro Gonçalves is key for sporting and is a legend. And please, never leave sporting, Pedro uh, Gonçalves. That's what great players do. And that's what great managers do too with Ruben Emery just did. He plays to his best player strengths. Gonçalo Inácio, Guilherme, Morten Huilman, Morita. They're all comfortable playing for him. <clears throat> and Trincao's benefited with this. Eduardo Quaresma has benefited with this. Diomandé has benefited w with this. The collective has benefited. And that's why Sporting is playing the best football and, uh, yeah. in the Portuguese and, uh, like, just, league. Just, just, a fun fact, just a fun fact. Uh, we all know that uh, Usman Diomand left for the mm -hmm. African Can yes, competition. Yes, in January, yeah. Um, Morita for the Asian Cup. Let me ask you one thing. What was the best part of the season for Sporting. When was Sporting playing their best football this season? I'd say I'd say they're playing their best football in February. January, February. And it matches with Eduardo Quaresma starting in the uh. starting eleven. <laughs> in my opinion, Eduardo Quaresma is a key player for the Ruben Amri uh, game style to work. And I'll explain why. And even uh, against Benfica today, I will start Eduardo Quaresma ahead of Diomand. And I'm not... Hating on Diomand, I love Diomand, but for this game, Eduardo Quaresma is the perfect fit. Benfica is going to press high. Look. We, need, we need a player, Sporting needs a player that can play from the back uh, individually. He can, that can carry the ball uh, in between the Benfica forwards press. You know what I mean? It's true, it's true. And Eduardo Quaresma came back as a starter against Porto. And Everybody amazing. was shocked. Everybody was saying, what? The, the stadium was chanting his name. And they and it was a big moment, and that goal should have happened. Okay, that goal should have happened. If yeah. you know, you know. So this makes me interested, me. You're talking about Inácio Diamand Quaresma in a big level. Uh, I think the best center back in the Portuguese league for me is Antonio Silva. Do you agree? No. Do you think Diamand goes to Inácio? I I uh, I think it's uh, it's very tough to say, but I would put both Diamand and Gonçalo Inácio above. Um, Antony Silva, if you're playing in a, th in a three center, center back line, and for the back, Antonio, uh, I think if you're playing with a regular with four at the back, I think I think Antonio Silva would be a better fit than Diomando so, Gonçalves. So imagine, so I'll rephrase. So no, but even this season, I think the best center back of Antonio Silva, Diomando Gonçalves, this season, I pick Antonio Silva. I think he's the best out of the three. Uh, I would say this season, Antonio Silva has been the best out of the three as well, uh, even though. I think Diomand, if, if the three move to the Premier League, the one that will have the most success will be Diomand. Due to his physical att attributes, I think that Diomand really fits the Premier League well. Uh, Gonçalo Inácio, on the other hand, Gonçalo Inácio is one of the best center backs in the world w on the ball. And he's, he's a left footer center back, which True. adds a lot of value. But I also consider that 
this happens because he really enjoys to play in a three center back system. And I don't know if that's going to happen if he moves to the Prem. Unless he moves to Liver uh, Ruben Amri's Liverpool. Exactly. Look, <laughs> um, if it was a Liverpool team with Gonzalo Inasu, Virgil van Dijk, Konate and Alisson at the back. <laughs> man, what a strong defense. It would be uh, strong distribution with Trent and strong distribution at the left with Gonzalo Inasu. That would be a top, top defense in the world of football. So, yes, we, we showed here. I'm Antonio Silva. You're more on Diamande. I respect that. Otavio Ateid, good center back to a Porto. Oof. And I wanted to ask what you too. We, we talked about midfielders. Best managers. Ruben Emery is the best manager in the Portuguese league. By far, by far. No, Sergio no, Cossé some second. I would, uh, I would say so, yeah. For what he has uh, shown and proven. And I'm I'm going to go uh, bold. I would say Daniel Souza. It's uh, the Ooh, third best. You wanted Daniel Souza after Ruben Emery at Sporting? Uh, I would say so, but he's now he's went he went to Braga. So look, look, I've seen a Braga manager go to Sporting after. Ah, I'm joking, <laughs> I'm joking. That's true. But Daniel Sousa is a good manager. 39 years old. Eroca is playing great football. Chris Gonzalez, Rafa Murica, Jason, Jason. All three Spanish players. Eroca, great scouting. Joel Pino, Sporting director. I had the chance to speak to him. Great man, and he's the reason why they're succeeding. 36 years old. 36, another yeah. wonder kid in his own area. So we mentioned two managers. We mentioned Benfica a bit. What on Benfica's side we, we, we didn't touch upon is Europa League. Do you think Benfica is going to go through in the Europa League with Marcel? It's going to depend on how they do today. Uh, I believe that if Benfica beats Sporting, the, 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 the Primera Liga will be top priority. And mm -hmm. I don't think they will, go, they will go through in the Europa League. If they lose so they today against Sporting, if Benfica loses today against Sporting, I think they, they will go through Marcel because they will put all the chips, all their chips in the Europa League and uh, they have the squad to do it. I think they even have a, a squad to battle Liverpool. Not of in, not in terms of gameplay because I think Liverpool plays way better, but they have a squad to face Liverpool. I'm not saying they're going to be favourites, but Benfica has an amazing squad depth, amazing players. I just think they're lacking on the coach, but... Ah, That's another topic. But Marcel in the last four games, four losses, 10 goals conceded, not playing their best football. I watched them against Lille. Lenny Oro, please remember this name. Top young center back in Liga. For me, the best defender in Liga. Alex, don't write, but don't write off Marcel. They have Aubameyang at the front, who's been the best scorer in, uh, in the Europa and League. Benfica's so Di Maria and Dronev. Oh, we yeah, got it. It's going to be. Good. But I, I do think Benfica will go through. Um, but let's see. I think they're favorites. Yeah. Definitely. And I, I mentioned players to watch outside the top three. Jota Silva completely agree with <laughs> what you with what you said. So players outside the top three for you to watch. Jota Silva, Pedro Malher, Luis Junior, Roger Fernandes. Seven, seven assists at 18 years old for Braga. Gustav Sá, Famalicão. Rodrigo Gomes, very Oof. good player. Andrew, goalkeeper, Gil Vicente. Costinha, I, I like Costinha a lot. Even uh, Rafa Mujica that you mentioned before. Rafa Mujica, Tomás Andal of Vitória, also a very good player. So, and Rafi Guitano of Estoril. Oh, the magician. Magician, the very magician good player. Really and you good. said Daniel Souza. I had here in my notes, Daniel Souza. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, even and Diogo Costa. This is the last thing on Porto. Porto fans will be a bit, ah, why didn't you mention us a lot? But Porto, they're going to be fighting for the Taça of Portugal. Do you think Ruben Amorim and Sporting will win the Portuguese league and the Taça de Portugal? We're, we're still not sure if Porto is going to go through. So they still have the second leg to play against Vitória de Guimarães, which you stated out. It's a re very good side with true. very good players as well. But I think, of course, they're favorites to go through to the final. And I think it's going to be a tough match because we all know how good Sergio Conceição prepares these types of matches. Um, he's a really competitive coach. Never likes to lose. And when there's a special big match, Sergio is always up to the task. Look. So I do think that it will be a 50-50 match if Porto goes to the final. Porto Sporting. Final in Jamor this season. Ruben Amorim, Sergio Conceição. The last, probably, arguably, the, probably the, the last game of Ruben Amorim ahead of Sporting. And Victor Gioqueres, an iconic team of Sporting. Well, I'll try to be in Jamor. Surely you'll be in Jamor too. Say hi to us if you see us. Please, okay? We mentioned a lot in this video. Like and comment down below. What did we miss? What you want to see us talk about in the Portuguese league? And again, thank you so much for going bold with us and seeing this video. And thank you, Pedro, for joining yeah, me. No here worries. Follow guys, Pedro Ibo. Ah, love it, love it. <laughs>